It's finally over. They're over. They're done. The horrendous experience of five years of misery and pointlessness is finally over. And I've received a brown envelope with my future in it. And today, I'm gonna talk about it. I was gonna be all like proper vlog, professional and that, and uh, I filmed out of a train window. It's about as far as I got. But I'm gonna show you this train window so you can appreciate my amazing cinematographic skill. And yeah, that's about it. On to how I did. Well, I went there. There was, uh, there was a sort of table in my school. Loads of brown envelopes on it. They're actually already open, which sort of made me think. Oi oi. You've been looking at my results. Did explain the sort of sad looking faces around. But as far as I could tell, it actually went fine. And I guess nobody really cares about me blagging on about what happened and how few friends I have. So I'm gonna tell you how I did. <laughs> So the first sheet I saw had maths in it. Maths was one I was a little bit worried about failing. Luckily, because of the wonderful changes that the government has made and have therefore tried to cover it up, they have made the most brilliant grade boundaries ever. To get a pass in higher tier maths this year, you needed 18, 1, 8, percent of the marks and that's it y you would have passed and that's so that they can make it look like their GCSEs work they do they're amazing but it's great because I passed not only that but I got an A star equivalent which is completely ridiculous because as many people will probably be testament to I am terrible at maths Honestly, atrocious. Don't know how I managed that, but I'm not gonna query it at all. German was my only other Ed Excel exam. That went pretty well. You could say I Ed Excelled a Budums. That went fine. Actually went a lot better than I expected. Managed to get full marks on the reading paper, which is my best. I'm a bit bad at listening because I'm slightly deaf and really bad at speaking. I don't know why, because I can blab on in videos for at least 10 minutes. So now AQA, flipping AQA with their utterly wonderful exams. And yeah, I'm talking about geography. Anyone who's taken the geography exam will probably know what I'm talking about. You know the one where we're told to learn case studies and uh, oh yeah that's right they didn't come up at all and it was the most genuinely amazing pile of excellence i've ever had the joy to experience religious studies joyful ah oh, now that's actually my lowest grade but it's one i work really hard for not very good at art and i'm very glad that i managed to achieve that one the subjects that i like like art i did worst in and sciences i got a stars Somehow. Flippin' love CGP. Just gotta throw that out there. CGP saved me. So I'd like to thank CGP for that. Not sponsored, but but you you guys do guys. You, d science literally makes no sense to me at all. Just learn CGP word for word and that sort of helps. English language? Better than I expected to. I sort of dissed the whole GCSE system in the English language exam. So to see that I got an 8 in that and I didn't get penalised. This is good. I'm glad about that. Very mature of the examiners. Now English literature is the one that makes me laugh. Grade 9. Best mark. Best, best mark? It just fell together so well. Perfect War of the Worlds question, if they can be such a thing. It's an epic piece of writing. And then Latin, I'm really surprised how well I did on that. I spent a good few days moaning about how terribly I did in the second Latin language exam, and uh, it, it seems like it was actually alright. But yeah, that's a quick overview of my GCSEs. It's one nine, two eights, six A stars, an A, and a B. Very happy with that one. I can do the A-levels that I want. Go and do A-levels and, and then hopefully make YouTube videos forever. I, I, I have an exciting future ahead of me. Pl please, pl please subscribe.